Hi guys, today we're going to do a hike at Valle de Cucora outside of Salento in Colombia. We're going to see some wax palm trees which are the tallest palm trees in the entire world. They're also the national tree of Colombia. After about 20 minutes crammed into a jeep, we've arrived at Valle de Cucora. There's a short way and a long way. We have decided to go the long way. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. This is our first glimpse of the magnificent wax palm trees. They're enormously tall. We just passed this couple coming back from this long hike and the girl just looked like she was in hell. <laughs> could barely breathe like she wanted to die and their boyfriend or whoever was behind her like this just like, <laughs> just like walk in the park no big deal and i was like that's probably what it's gonna look like when we come back from <laughs> i'm gonna be like <sighs> see these smiles you won't see much more of them <laughs> of the trail is kind of flat through a valley and now it's starting to go uphill. There's a place at the top that we're trying to reach before we start making our way down. The white horse, make a way. He's licking his face. <laughs> really cool suspension bridge. It looks really precarious <laughs> and I'm really excited to walk across it. make sure that we're not out here without any lights <laughs> because that would not be good at all. So hopefully we will make it up the steepest part here to the top where there's a hummingbird sanctuary and hopefully there we'll be able to sit down have a drink and then make our way back down but we still have some sunlight. So we've had a bit of a twist on the trail and this is now the trail. Yeah. That's the trail. <laughs> Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. You have to go through it. <laughs> it's half a kilometer more to the top. And I'm running a little low on gas. So Mark's helping me. <laughs> He's pushing me. <laughs> There's another bridge crossing with a couple of logs. And I know there are hummingbirds and water on the other side of this, so let's go. <laughs> I've been on the trail about four hours. We did manage to get to the top and saw the hummingbirds, which was really, really cool. I think I even saw their cute little tongues as they flew over to have a drink of water, maybe sugar water. That was really neat to see. And now we are making our way back down the trail. So I think it should be a lot easier from here on out. And apparently the best is safe for last on this particular trail because all of the wax palm trees are at the end. So I can't wait to see that. Pretty 
out of breath now. There's a lot of fog or mist. It almost feels like we've hiked so high that we're now up in a cloud. One thing about this trail is that there aren't really any route markers. When I say there aren't really, there are no route markers. <laughs> so it's a good idea to have a map or some semblance of an idea of where you want to go. And as someone who doesn't hike very often, I'm definitely a beginner. I don't really think this is a beginner trail. The trails are quite steep. There's some really precarious river crossings and uh, sometimes you have to hike directly through a stream. So I don't think that's a beginner. So just be aware of that if you're planning to come here. We're still not all the way to the top. <laughs> I thought when we passed the hummingbirds that it was all downhill. Definitely not. We have to actually hike up to what looks like the ridge of the mountain before we can start making our way down towards those wax palm trees that I'm holding out to see. So I'm gonna go up further now. are the National Tree of Columbia and they were very close to extinction and they're still really rare. This is one of the only places that you can still see them. They were used historically for making wax candles and every Easter for their palm fronds on Palm Sunday, but now they are being rehabilitated here. They're absolutely beautiful, extremely tall, and we're about to see a whole lot more of them. finally walking down the mountain, all of the uphill is done, the bugs are coming out, the sun is almost down, so we need to get going to make sure we see these palm trees. You know you're the last ones on the trail when they lock you in, so I'm gonna have to climb this fence. Try to climb this fence. Hard with a backpack. With a back, huge backpack. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. We can see them coming around the bend. Oh my god, there's so many. Wow. Unfortunately, it started to rain. We are walking beside the wax palm trees but it's about 6 p.m. and uh, the last Jeep heads back to Salento <laughs> quite shortly, so we're trying to get there, and if not, we'll just have to walk. Unfortunately, the rain makes it a little trickier to see the trees, but we did see them on the way in, so that was amazing. I'm so glad that we started at that time when it was really good weather. But despite the rain and it getting darker now, it's still incredible to see these wax palm trees. It's like something out of a Dr. Seuss book, to be honest. They just look very other. They're so tall. I believe they grow up to about 65 meters. And seeing their silhouette against the rainy sky is really beautiful. After seven hours, 20 kilometers, 282 floors, and nearly 30,000 steps, we have finished the hike. We are back in Salento. Unfortunately, we missed the last Willys Jeep, the best and cheapest form of transportation, back to Salento. They leave at 6.30 p.m. and we didn't realize that, but we were able to get a different taxi, so that worked out. The next thing we didn't realize that became pretty important rather quickly is that they actually lock the gate at the bottom of the hill. You finish in this big pasture with these huge palm trees, and 
the gate was locked at the end of the trail with a huge padlock with barbed wire. So Mark had to go over the barbed wire fence. I ended up going through the barbed wire fence in the rain, in the dark. It was not the ideal way to end the day, but we still had an amazing time. I am really glad that we went to Vire de Kakora. It's beautiful. We saw so many things we have never seen before. I hope that you enjoyed the hike as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more travel videos and I'll see you in my next one. And they are the cheapest form of transportation to get back here. So we had to take it to... <laughs> Hey, bud. Oh.